What's up guys, it's your man JT coming at you with some Dolphins talk here today. Uh, decided I'd mix it up. I haven't done an outside uh, video in quite some time. Uh, it's a nice Florida day down here, so I figured get a little fresh air. You know, just kind of walk around and talk to you guys about what's been going on with the Dolphins. Of course, training camp started this week. Uh, today was the third day for the Miami Dolphins with practices and stuff going on. Um, of course, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to go position by position and kind of break things down. First, um, I want to address a lot of the comments about Jarvis Landry, who has continued to talk about the Miami Dolphins since being gone and some of the things he says. And it's just one of those situations where, you know, I think the biggest thing is you got to be careful about falling in love with these players. And when players talk about loyalty and brotherhood and all this stuff, and this is my team, it's a business, and just like a team will ditch and cut them, uh, the players will do so just as fast. I mean, Jarvis Landry just last season was giving emotional post-game speeches about how this is a brotherhood and, you know, they fight together and all this stuff, and now look at that. You know, oh, you know, me and Ryan Tanner, we weren't that close, me and Gaze, all this, you know, all this stuff comes out once the money gets involved. Uh, but, you know, I don't blame Jarvis Landry for going and getting his money in Cleveland. Uh, I wish him the best of luck there. Obviously, he wanted to be treated uh, like the face of the franchise, like not just the best wide receiver on the team, but the best player on the team, uh, one of the highest paid players, the respect and everything that comes with that. And the Dolphins didn't see it that way. So unfortunate that it didn't work out. But that's really all I have to say about that. I don't want to get too uh, deep into it or pick sides. Uh, now to get to training camp, I figured the way I'd break this down would just go position by position and just kind of give you what I've heard. What I've seen, obviously I'm here in Tampa, Florida, working every day, so I don't get the chance to go to these training camps, but I do follow some really good accounts. Um, Armando is a great place, Chris Perkins is a great place, uh, some really good guys out there that will give you kind of a play-by-play -play breakdown of these training camps. Uh, quarterback, really the biggest thing is Tannehill's look good, and pretty much everybody else hasn't, particularly Brock Osweiler. He is, every time I read about Brock, he's thrown an interception. So I really do hope David Fales can win that backup quarterback job. Uh, running backs, I haven't heard a lot of. Gore has been the starting running back in training camp as of now. Um, I would probably prefer Kenyon Drake to be the starter, but we will see, you know, how that goes. Uh, it's still early on in the process for that. Wide receiver-wise, Danny Amendola and Tannehill, again, uh, a great chemistry going. They've really been on point so far in training camp, and uh, Tannehill's been trying to throw the ball to him a lot, trying probably to build a uh, the type of chemistry that he has with Amendola uh, like he has with the guys like Stills and Grant who have been there a little while. Uh, but that's about it as far as wide receivers. Kenny Stills has been pretty quiet. Devontae Parker pretty quiet. Um, offensive line has had its struggles, particularly on the uh, two tackles positions. But I do have faith in Laramie Tunsil and Juwan James. So maybe it's just early. Maybe the defensive line's beating them. Not really sure what's going on there. But hopefully with the additions of Justin and then, like I said, some of our other offensive linemen progressing and moving forward, that's a position group we can kind of uh, get better because it has not been good for way too long in Miami. Uh, tight ends, so far Marquise Gray, A.J. Derby are starting, which I expected. Don't freak out, listen, Mike Gusecki was a second-round pick for a reason. The dude's a beast. He'll be starting. If he doesn't start week one, he'll be starting soon enough. Like, this isn't anything to freak out about. Veterans get these starting roles uh, early on in training camp and early on into preseason, sometimes even week one. Uh, but eventually, I think Gusecki will get that starting job, even if it's not week one of the NFL season. Um, defense has been pretty solid, uh, pretty interesting stuff. I think the linebackers have played better than I would have expected them to do. Again, it's training camp, uh, barely any pads, barely any contacts, uh, contact. So don't take it too seriously, but I have heard good things. Also some interesting stuff. Uh, Tony Lippett was getting first team reps. Uh, Tory McTire was getting first team reps, which is very surprising. So I guess, I think this idea that Xavier Howard and Tankersley were just automatically going to be our starting cornerbacks. That doesn't really sound like the case. Sounds like a lot of competition going on in that secondary, which I'm all for. Um, Rashad Jones and TJ McDonald have been starting, and I expected that. But I still think Minka Fitzpatrick will be the starting safety uh, come day one. So, some pretty interesting stuff. Like I said, uh, it's still way too early to take any of this too seriously. But... You know, it, it's you can get some interesting stuff. And again, uh, find yourself a good Miami reporter. Uh, 
follow them on Twitter. You can get all of this training camp information, even if you can't be there, even if you don't live in Miami. I know there's a lot of Dolphin fans that don't live in Miami and can't go to these things. So make sure you follow that. You get your resources. And, of course, follow this channel. It's brand new, JT Dolphins. It is just for Dolphins videos. That is it. Beyond the Benches is going to be coming out with all kinds of new videos and daily articles once the football season starts. So make sure you follow the Facebook page, follow this channel, and I will see you guys around.